Leonardo da Vinci once said, the artist sees what others only catch a glimpse of. I think this is especially true of all the young artists that participated in the 2021 Young American Talent Art Competition this year. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm Ellen Biltz, and together with Karen Wynn, we were the 2021 Young American Talent Co-Chairs. Young American Talent is sponsored each year by the nonprofit Visual Arts Guild of Booker T. Washington High School. And we are very excited to be here with all of you tonight. This year, Young American Talent celebrates its 30th anniversary, 30 years of juried shows, 30 years of budding artists, 30 years of dedicated teachers, 30 years celebrating North Texas young art talent. What an amazing accomplishment. When someone asks what the Young American Talent Art Competition is, I think it's only fitting to share our fun facts. The 2021 fun facts include that we had a record-breaking number of student submissions at 1,126 across 11 artistic categories. Next, our esteemed jurors juried in 134 finalists into the show. Then, 42 winners were selected. And now, all the artwork is being reproduced so it can travel and be displayed in eight stunning shows across North Texas. Where can I see one of these traveling shows? A list of locations are here and on our website. Definitely plan to see one that's close to you. I also want to take a moment to thank our modernist sponsor, Plains Capital Bank. We could not have had a traveling show without you. Thank you. A big shout out to Fortress Building Products. Fortress has supported Young American Talent for the past three years, and we are so grateful. Thank you. I would also like to take a moment to thank all our North Texas art teachers. Your dedication and support of all these young artists is really appreciated. Teachers really are superheroes in disguise. Thank you, teachers. Now let's meet our esteemed jurors, Greg Metz, Kathy Robinson Hayes, and Susan Giller. So, hello, young artists. My name is Greg Metz, and I teach studio arts at the University of Texas at Dallas. And also, for the last 20 years, I have been the uh, director of the university's main gallery, where I have overseen literally hundreds of professional exhibitions, many of which I've curated myself. Um, I will say, in during this exhibition, that <laughs> was uh, it was a tremendous challenge, uh, but also a very satisfying reward. I will say, as jurors, that we were all blown away uh, by the wide array of subjects, uh, of the mediums, of the materials that you engage with, uh, as and with the insightful uh, concepts uh, as well. And, and of course, the quality of the work was really um, exceptional. Uh, I also would like to acknowledge uh, the range of uh, cultural representation that we saw in the works and also uh, note the reflections of current events uh, that are engulfing us in these rather precarious pandemic times. Um, say that's commendable uh, to have that record from uh, these young emerging artists. So um, I pretty much attribute this to students' creative passion and ingenuity in expressing all that's going on around them. Uh, 
and and also of course to the to acknowledge their uh, their very dedicated teachers uh, that have uh, definitely inspired them to create. So uh, it was an honor and so reassuring to see that you all are not asleep uh, nor devoid of creativity in these unique uh, and unprecedented times. So thank you all for giving us a snapshot into your lives and to your creative thinking going forward uh, as we all hope to see better times ahead. So I also, uh, I do really believe that this selection of works represents uh, the best and the brightest works, not only coming out of Texas high schools, but also on par naturally, nationally. So um, kudos to you all. And uh, thank you for um, allowing us to preview this work. Hi, my name is Kathy Robinson Hayes. I'm a visual artist and art and antique restorer and conservator. I was born in Canada, but have been a longtime Texas resident and exhibited my work in Canada, the US and Italy. It was such an honor to be asked to be a juror for the Young American Talent Competition. I really look forward to seeing the work in its unique presentation this year on the signboards that will travel to different locations. I was so inspired and excited to view all the entries. I really kept looking and going over the artwork as I was amazed at the technical skills, the creativity, and thoughts and ideas em emanating from many of the pieces. It can be so hard to narrow down the entries when there is so much talent and commitment by many. So a huge congrats to all the winners and a huge thank you to all the entrants. Jurying the competition got me looking forward to seeing more of your work in the future. Certain images were just unforgettable to me. I hope as you grow as artists, go on to college or choose a different path to be true to yourselves. Always be open to learning and expanding your knowledge. Perseverance is key. I celebrate and applaud all of you. Our final juror is Susan Giller, an artist, Creative Arts Center of Dallas instructor, and when asked about herself, she said, devoting some time to figure drawing and eventually teaching that practice, I realized that I was finally understanding more about myself. But mostly my self-discovery came in showing up, doing the work and sinking into the process of what was in front of me. It taught me a discipline that had eluded me, but finally brought me true satisfaction. A big thank you to all three of our jurors. We couldn't have done it without you. It is now finally time for the awards. This year's awards include Best in Show, the Invitation Award, the Rising Stars Award, and across all artistic categories, first, second, third place, and honorable mention. Now please enjoy the slideshow that will reveal the student winners across all the categories.
is now time for our special awards. First, we have our two Rising Star Awards. Each year, Young American Talent recognizes two freshman artists for their artistic achievements. Next, we have the Invitation Award. Each year, an art piece is selected to be the face of Young American Talent for the upcoming year. All printed materials, the website, and our social media image will celebrate this piece of art. Then, to conclude our award ceremony, we will announce the Young American Talent Best in Show winner. Thank you all for being with us tonight. What an amazing show this has been. All the awards will be mailed directly to the students in April, so check your mailbox. All the winners will also be posted on the website. At the conclusion of the traveling show, we will have one set of signs available to the finalists to pick up if you want your sign. Details will be emailed closer to the date. Again, congratulations to all the winners, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you again next year.